Then again, for today, we started at Dobbins because um, we're going to work our way down this time. We started at the bottom last time. We're going to work our way up. I'm still not sure if I'm going to make one comprehensive video or break it up into separate pieces because um, I'm getting a little bit more in-depth in each site, so uh, we'll see. All right, it's been two years since we've been to Dobbins. Uh, you can see the mountains up here and how beautiful they look. Um, going far, far off into the distance in the towers up there. But we are at uh, Dobbins Lookout right now, just trying to check it out. Uh, looks like we got, uh, it's pretty populated today. But a little bit of a restroom over there, but we got, of course, people selling stuff, like usual. Um, trying to see what's off the distance here. See what it looks like. See so you can look around. This is a pretty steep drop off over here. Um, you got a couple benches. Go check it out over here. Let's look off. We're gonna go to the, the building structures in a second, but it looks like there's actually a path that leads down into the valley over here. This has been a more comprehensive view that I've given in my previous view two years ago. It's so like I said, almost two years to the day. Uh, we're out here again at Dobbins. You can get a closer look off the edge. I can see a city over there. Much better over here than over there, I would say, personally. As you see, Dobbins' uh, lookout's actually pretty packed right now. The most thing I'm going to look for is just to see if there's any damage to the infrastructure. Stuff along those lines, see if anything's really changed significantly. This time I'm going to use the proper entrance, which is over here, as opposed to last time where I kind of climbed down the rocks. Let's go see over here. Looks like I got some new graffiti up here. Let's some better stuff into it. Let's excuse me. Here we are at Dobbins. Lots of people. It's a beautiful look at that. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot in the Dobbins look out, and then, of course, you go over this direction and see more, a lot more. There's another structure I'm gonna try and get to. It's a little bit further down. Um, two structures actually, maybe, depending on the flexibility of my uh, significant other. There's the city. It's pretty amazing up here. Like I said, I, I oh man, more. More graffiti. I wonder if the graffiti from last time is still here. Uh, maybe they'll say that all those washed up, those little moors put up here. So, really unfortunate for such a beautiful location, but take a look out of that, man. It's just gorgeous for miles. You can see the whole valley. Not a single bit of the valley, I don't think you can see from this position. It's quite amazing. Here's a little bit closer view of Phoenix. Not real closer, but a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'll probably lose some pixelation though. The last time I got a picture of Phoenix, this time I got a video. So, again, trying to be a little more comprehensive. You can see the city, uh, all the city. Pretty significant, right? This is going to be kind of the last designated point for Dobbins. Uh, you look here, it has all the different. Uh, directions of the valley, so you look Superstition Mountains that way. We've been in that area. Uh, McDowell Mountains, Paradise Valley, of course, uh, Barry Goldwater, City of Glendale. Um, I mean, it just kind of breaks off into different directions. You can see everything on here. And it's got lots of different symbols, lots of very beautiful symbols on it. Um, I'm going to try and circle around and capture each and every one of those. But I'm not exactly sure what they mean. Maybe we can take pictures and do a little bit more research, but again, you see uh, some graffiti, so I need to bang this pretty hard with something, more graffiti. It's always very upsetting when you see that stuff, but here we are, Dobbins. You can see the whole whole shot from here. Uh, absolutely amazing. And then Phoenix off in the distance. So I went to use the facilities, and uh, my wife told me, she said they're, they're, they're a pit, and I thought, a pit? And she literally meant a pit. So. It's uh, interesting as it out. And I'm also trying to avoid the wasps while using the facility that are flying about my legs. A lot of them. All right, so as we exit the uh, bathroom facilities, which are located on top of the mountain, we're actually gonna go to 
up here real quick. I want to see what's up here. I don't, I don't really know. I haven't explored this much of Dobbins. Uh, the last video was kind of a sprint through. This one I'm trying to do a little more comprehensive. What is that? Just an animal of some sort. Maybe like a raccoon or not a raccoon, a like squirrel. I don't know what though. Definitely saw him. I think he's got. Oh wow! It disappeared into that little hole down there. Whatever it was, it's gone now. I wonder if I caught it on film. Up there you can see a dude paragliding. I'm not sure if the camera can show that or not. The dude's up there paragliding. It's insane. That's how the guy from King of Random died. Anyways, we're getting to the top up here. Looks like, oh, this guy got some sort of... sort of mark. Like a concrete stand right here. Just to stand on. Right? around this place is beautiful it goes on for miles I don't see any more structures down that way particularly there's I know there's one over there though so we're gonna try and get over there and see it hopefully so from my understanding it's about a half mile um, from the top so we're gonna walk the road back down and hopefully try and see um, you the actual structure the second structure I'm gonna park and have to walk to again it's gonna be a little bit of a climb up but uh, I'm here for the history, you know? Just some remarks on safety. I'm walking in the opposite lane so I can see oncoming traffic. Uh, if I were in that lane, I wouldn't be able to see if anybody were coming towards me. Um, I'm walking on this side and then, of course, if there's, there's lots of room for me to step off in case we have a vehicle coming. Um, I just want to emphasize that it's just an important note because I know a lot of people they, they don't they don't know how to walk in streets properly um, and that can be very dangerous especially like in locations where there's not a lot of room so you have a car coming right there you know had I been walking the other direction uh, he may have hit me because I'm in that lane in fact we'll keep the camera rolling just to show an example of what I'm talking about see there you go I would have never seen that coming all right so this is where things start to get sticky when historians haven't recorded history, um, it can be difficult. Oh my gosh, there's glass out here, so it's at least somewhat, um, somewhat used of a trail or path. It's a bit hard on the trail. Um, we're going to see some crazy stuff right now, probably. I mean, that's some sort of animal scat. Got again some more beautiful birds and cacti. I'm more concerned about uh, getting to the structure without being injured. Some broken glass. So like I said, heavily looks like it's heavily used at your partying and stuff. It's sad. It's sad. It should not be used for partying. It should be used for history and and, and geography and, and and learning more about where we are in the world. This is I I I'm closer up to a lot of things than I thought I'd be. This is um pretty amazing honestly <laughs> kind of wonder if there's petroglyphs I don't want to get too off task though I'm still trying to find that spot so. we got ourselves into a wash right now and uh, of course you can see some tracks I'm not sure this is going to take me where I need to go I'm trying to dart off to the left hopefully but this large rock formation is going to probably prevent that with me this may give us access. We'll find out. Like I said, man, this is a. Uh, I, I've been out here the last two days making actual discoveries. Um, this location is not even on a map, so maybe if I can get out there and get at least get the, the, the GPS location marked, uh, it'll be significant. All right, again, I'm out here just following the wash. There's still trash out here, which kind of amazes me because. It seems like regular average Joes can get out here. Oh, these are these have been lined up professionally. Um, but historians are not doing their jobs. Again, don't want to get too close to these formations or I'll get spiked by a, uh, one of our Rattler friends. I'm trying to see the location from here. 
real kind of desolate out here, man. Like every once in a while, I hear like a, a shudder in the uh, the leaves, but other than that, man, there's it's it's like quiet, like eerie quiet. I know like Hasayampa or oh, I got a bird. Certain places you can, uh, you, it's constant noise, but here it's just absolute serenity. That's interesting. I'll stop taking a photo of that. So I think we may have overshot the original location. It's kind of how it goes with these things, man. Sometimes you or get it right away, and then, like in my my Griffin video, sorry. I'm, trying to hear over my own voice um, in the Griffin video it took us quite some time to to, to get what we needed so um, sometimes their history is extremely easy um, generally it's not though so generally history is actually doing history is, is what, you're, what you're seeing um, the textbooks and all that it's, it's good, but remember they're written by people. People like me. People like uh, Charles Darwin and Wilhelm von Humboldt and Alexander von Humboldt and people who truly um, had an idea but expressed it in their own ways. All right, so there it is. You can kind of see it off in the distance. We're gonna get there. All right, so again, massively suspect, but do it for the love of history. And uh, I don't recommend, I may have said this already, but I do not recommend this kind of uh, traveling or adventure for anyone who's not experienced in it or unprepared. My classic loadout is usually just a backpack cam. Um, you need to have a backup cam. And then you need to have, of course, a good charge, a way to keep your devices cool from the heat sometimes, especially in Arizona. Um, you know, I, I rarely need any kind of first aid and, uh, generally don't get too far off track. So, I, the first aid is generally not needed. Like, so this is an exception that I'm working really hard to get to. So, we'll see. Sun's starting to go down. Just want to say, man, there's a lot that goes into this. I'm out of here hiking, sweating my butt off at least half a mile from Dobbins Lookout and uh, not, not even on a trail I'm just walking through the desert so I think we're getting close though real close I normally don't use this type of terminology but boy am I stoked you see right there it's only a, a hop skip and jump away we're gonna see the site today we're gonna mark it and uh, see if it has a name to it separate spot altogether Dobbins way over there. I mean, it's gonna be, Dobbins is about almost half a mile, maybe a little bit more, and probably a little bit less as the bird flies. But we are coming up on a discovery. This is freaking beautiful. Holy cow. And uh, not, not even marked, not even marked for anything. No. It's been provided no significance historically, as far as I can tell. Got some, of course, not quite as maintained as well. Minor graffiti, it looks like a wooden roof down at Scorpion Gold. We haven't gotten there yet today. They used to have a wooden roof. And then they took it off because of the fact that it was kind of starting to cave in. Let's go take a look inside. Very similar structure. I'm assuming it's got to be from the same era. Let me try and look around. See if we can't find any. Jeez, man, this place has been treated horribly. Um, a little sad, honestly. This is uh, this is our land, guys. These structures are ours. Start to see, there's a little bit of. A little bit of problems on the roof. I hear something up there, probably a bird. We made it over to this lookout. Maybe I'll drop a name in it for myself. And 
since nobody else seems to care about this spot. But I do. I'm gonna try and get this place reformed. Look at this place. I mean, this could be in there. This could be just as beautiful with all the graffiti. Look down there, you see a whole bunch of it. it really bells me out. I don't see a date though. So, but, but you could assume the structure, based on the structure of it, based on the way that it, it's, it's done. Not just that, I noticed this is giant. Where's that? I think it's on the other side. There's a giant boulder incorporated as part of the structure, which is, I mean, look at this. This is so bizarre. Almost on the side of a, literally on the side of a cliff. Oh no, <laughs> there are some uh, camis down there. I don't know why. Somebody must have had a good party, I guess. You can see some more metal sheeting down there. Looks like they may, may have tried to put metal sheeting on top and it's blown off since. But this is the second lookout that I've been to. We're gonna try and get to a third as well. Ugh. This is what I'm talking about. This rock is just, it's literally incorporated into the structure of this building. It's amazing. Um, so let's get some photos, get this geotagged, and then uh, head back up to the top of the mountain. Up there. No matter how downtrodden and, and, and sometimes beaten down these places look, man, the historical significance of these places is, is important because it, it, it involves the story of all of us. This involves the story of all of us. I, haven't, I don't have a date for this place. Um, looks like they didn't leave one. They pay more attention to Dobbins, but uh, we'll try and do a little bit more research, and uh, if not, we'll get it a name. All right, so now we got road access. Again, like I said, it's easy to fall off of... Uh, your location especially whenever you're hiking so make sure that you're on the trail you know where you're at you got devices that can protect you because uh, otherwise you're gonna have a bad day so let's at the top of the mountain and we'll head back down and see the rest although I'm not entirely sure how much chunk this uh, anniversary uh, two-year anniversary of revisiting history up um, here's some specimen <laughs> let me mention this real quick um, so I'm not sure I'm gonna chop this up I may just do a full two-year uh, kind of like look back at revisiting history and be able, be able to be a really long film that I'll show all the South Mountain again or um, I'll break it into segments. I'm thinking the, the the long one seems to make more sense because of the anniversary of the, the two years of revisiting history here. So uh, like I said, get out there, make sure you're revisiting history, and stay tuned. See, these are the, another shot of the specimens that I've been observing. You can see closely here um, that some of them have holes in them. It's very strange. Um, and I wonder if maybe they have a burrow in them. Some of them don't have holes, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe there's a, a bug that's within the actual um, plant itself, but I'm not sure what this plant is. I'm not sure what it is. We're going to figure it out, though. I'm pretty interested, honestly. All right, there you see right there. Summit Road. That's the top. It's Dobbins. We came from all the way over there. From Dobbins. Now we're back. Let's go check out the next spot. So this next location is also not marked. Uh, it's up on the top. You can kind of see it a little bit. I'm all the way up and I found this. It says scan for more info on your trail. Uh, it's got a little VR code there. So it's kind of interesting. Right here, I mean, you can see how steep of a drop off this is. We're like, I'm standing on the edge of a cliff, basically. So you got people way down there. You can kind of see. Try and get zoom in. I mean, they're way down there. We're going up, though. Didn't see one snake, Gila monster, nothing in the last... So temperatures are nice, nice and beautiful out in Phoenix again for once. Let's get to the top of this thing and see this beauty. Now just looking at the topography from here, you have down there it's more of like a staircase, and up here it's more of just like rocks. So we're going up, up the rocks. Down there's where we parked. You see down there in the parking lot. We're up here, and the terrain is rather rigorous. Looks like we're getting close to the topography winds around quite a bit. <sighs> it's never particularly fun. Oh wow. Look at that. Happy two year anniversary of revisiting history. <sighs> it's gorgeous. We're looking at that though. Just for some freaking perspective, man. Where we're at. It's very peculiar. It drops off. There's a city over there, I'm not sure which one. And then, we're down here. <laughs> I think this is the way. 
had a lot of successful summits lately. Um, not really summits today, but this one will be for sure. Um, so I think it's about time to summit South Mountain and free climb the whole thing up to Dobbins from the trail. I looked at the thing, it doesn't look too difficult, but it's gonna challenge you. Let me flip this camera around, because it's about to get crazy. Uh, I thought this would be a quick, quick climb. That's what you always think. That's what I always think, oh my God. Whew. Whew. Look at that. Yeah, right there, man. <laughs> I'm good going this way, bruh. Holy cow. Let's circle us around. Like I said, it's one of those circular, circular topographies. Circles you around, brings you back up to the top. All right, so I believe this is the last part. Oh, oh. This is the last part of the summit. A little bit steeper than even the last topography. We're putting in that work. That hiking work. Holy cow. I'm gonna have to rest on a rock. Or if that place is well enough, maybe we'll rest there. Again, I don't think it's marked anywhere. So we're out here making discoveries. We're just revisiting history anymore. We're making history. All I can say is this has been one of my tougher climbs. Uh, not in fantastic shape, but whew, that straight incline is rough. Looks like you have a trail that branches off to the right. And then of course we have the other lookout here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see the topography again. These are mostly constructed out of the local rocket. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's incorporated directly into it. See, it's very barely steps here. You see some scatter over there. Mostly ge geological. But again, in here we got, it's like a circular table of some sort. It's like it's caved in. Not sure what might have been inside of it, but very beautiful spot. Oh, you got a nice little grill up here. It's quite amazing. You see, it's another lookout. If you look way down there, that's us. It's a good parking lot, so heading back down now. All right, correction. So this one was the National Trail Lookout. Uh, apparently, it has been given a name, place, and location. Looks like it's kind of actually heavily trafficked. More than I thought it would be. Um, especially because of the climb, but uh, I would highly recommend this one. It's beautiful uh, if you can tolerate the hike. A little bit steep, but I'm also fatigued from the first location, so who knows how that plays into things. I gotta take one more film pass around this corner because it is intense. It's like you got, I don't know, a couple feet and then bloop, drops way the heck off. You can see down there, but and then it's followed by this kind of terrain. Mostly rigid rocks. Last shot for my uh, anniversary on uh, two year anniversary on YouTube. Just I want to shout out to our channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, uh, share. It always helps in the analytics. Uh, YouTube sometimes will bump it up or down videos uh, depending on the likes, subscribes. Uh, comments and such so if you guys can contribute to the channel I'm gonna add more information uh, as long as it's contextual man I'm out here trying to trying to build a uh, a new platform for for um, Humboldtian history and Humboldtian education so uh, like I said please contribute and uh, we always appreciate when we do I think we just hit 50, 50 subscribers uh, a year ago we didn't have anything close to that so thank you all for supporting me and uh, you know watching watching me and staying with me on these journeys that we go through because sometimes they're not easy sometimes they're not fun sometimes they're injurious right so uh, thank you and just make sure you guys are staying in uh, that uh, hitting that bell 
hitting that like, subscribe, and then make sure you guys share. Thank you. One more time, that was the National Trail to take you up to the National Trail uh, Lookout. So we got National Trail to Lookout, Dobbins Lookout, and possibly one that uh, doesn't have a name. But uh, we'll look into it. So now we're at Scorpion Gulch, and the main goal for this one really is to see if there's anything that's changed. Uh, like I said, between the, the, the first video that I had seen versus my first visit, uh, the roof had been taken off the actual building up here, so we're going to take a look at Scorpion Gulch. So here we are. It's packed today. Even more packed than it was last time. I just had one person take photos, and I get lots of people taking photos. This is the actual structure of uh, Scorpion Gulch. I'm going to try and get a better photo last time. I got a pretty poor photo of it, so I'm going to back up and get Alright, let's take a look at the interior, see if the graffiti's gone or if there's more. I'm not sure if the roof structure changed too much. It looks pretty much the same. Uh, I don't see any graffiti. Ooh, I do some see some exposed wood here, but I'm not sure if that was there before or not, or if that's something new. Maybe they're trying to restructure this thing, but there's no graffiti on the outside. I remember there being some. Ah, just a little bit on the back. So not much has changed about this structure, but keep looking. All right, so now here's his house, which he's got a comprehensive cacti collection. I think he said it was over like a hundred different types of cactus that he's got just right within here. He did have, I'm not sure if it's still that way, but he did have that many. Now let's take a look at this place for real. Now last time we were here, we had some nice structures. Um, here's a, looks like, a, like an Anasazi or a Pueblo type. Um, painting. It looks more contemporary. You can see the walls been chipped, been heavily damaged. Again, I should have brought that structure. Ah, I should have brought it so I could see this inside there. But other than that, the structure, you see some cracking and the infrastructure. It doesn't look terrible, but it's still not in the, the best condition either. You see the room over here. You see the same the kind of stone masonry you see um, on some of the other structures up towards the top. Ah, oh, man, more. And then let's go around here. A lot of people here. Popular location apparently. Didn't wasn't so popular last time I was here. See here as well. Very comprehensive structure. I don't think I've seen this room before actually. It's kind of interesting. Even more graffiti. Neil's hanging out. There's some people out here, but anyways, you can see some of the old, old infrastructure starting to come out of this place. Got the stone still. The uh, structure, I don't know if you see up inside, if it still looks good or not. But I'm trying to get a shot inside there. I'm not sure if this is the kind of room reminds me of the Franklin stove, but probably not. I'm probably off on that. Maybe. Look into that more as well. Got people everywhere though. You can see more cactus here. Alright, that's it. That's Scorpion Gulch. Uh, and all of the things that go with it. It looks like it hasn't changed much from the last time I saw it. It looks like maybe some graffiti over on the, the red, I'm sorry, the metal, metal pieces down there. Um, but other than that, not much has really changed. It seems like we're pretty much the same site and location here's one thing I want to show the last thing is the well again we got the uh, Scorpion Gulch Trading Post 1936 it has been placed on the historic places again these things are usually we see these uh, as actual recognized historic locations now one thing I didn't notice about this place last time is this thing is made of wood you got this thing made of wood and it still exists now, I don't know if there's been some contemporary work done to it or what, but it's pretty pretty uh, remarkable that this thing's still here today. Granted, uh, 1936 is not that long ago. I believe that uh, this place has been here a little bit longer than that, though. The actual site, the actual Scorpion Gulch. No, the owner used to sell candy to the local kids in the area, and this was actually the shop, I believe, whereas that structure over there was more of a home. Um, so that's the history.